Now let's move on to the next part of the nephron, which is the distal convoluted tubule, and let's talk about how sodium is reabsorbed there. So as usual, let's draw the inside of the DCT, and here are the cells lining it. And just like with the loop of Henle and the proximal convoluted tubule, what's driving the whole system here is our sodium potassium ATPase. Now all we need to know is what's the transporter on the apical membrane, and here it's a different one from anything we've seen so far. It's a sodium chloride co-transporter. What drives it to act this way since it doesn't use any ATP? Well, it's the low concentration of sodium in the cell. So sodium follows this path to get out. Chloride is going to go through a channel on that side. And potassium also needs a way out because it's getting pumped in so much by the ATPase, so it circulates like that.